What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough, the 2022-2023 edition, probably, I don't even know. If we're doing two episodes, we might find out. So here we are in Lavender Town, we did a bit of a speed run through Routes 15 all the way to Route 8, found a few interesting Pokemon and all that stuff, and uh, yeah. So now it is time for us to go straight into Rock Tunnel. You guys remember it is a place where there was a lot of uh, what was it called? Uh, well, it was actually the place we needed to use flash and all that stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue on this speed run right here and get to the important battles in Kanto because well we we already know what happens right here. Now in walkthroughs when I do Pokemon Crystal and all that stuff, I hardly ever do any kind of uh, what was it called? Um, I hardly ever do any any battles right here into the rock tunnel. I always just go straight to Cerulean City and then bam, don't even bother with these parts right here. But, since we need Flash, I'm kinda hoping, let's see, do we have a Pokemon that needs Flash or does know how to, how to use Flash? Let's see, here we go, Flash, and, oh wow, Paris knows, oh, Paris knows how to use Flash, okay, so, there we go Paris, you are slowly becoming one of my favorites to use here. All right, so here we go, Flash Blinding Lights. Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna sing the song. And, well, here we go. Gonna be battling some Pokemon. In fact, I'm just gonna be using Repels. I know that there is an interesting Pokemon that you can actually find right here, but we're not gonna go straight for that. Let's go ahead and grab some items. Here we found an Elixir, which, you know, I might be using later on. And, well, let's grab this. TM-47, and let's see what this guy is all about right here. TM-47, where are you? Steel Wing, okay, so that's a very powerful move for its time right here. And, well, let's see, there might be some interesting stuff right here. If you guys remember, in Generation 1, this was a place that, you know, everybody dreaded. And, well, we found a, we found a Max Potion right here. And, well, let's see. We gotta get rid of an item right here. Ew. Oh, I know. Yeah, let's get rid of these guys. Let's see. Let's go with, uh, Paris. Let's give it, a, let's give it all the, 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 the vitamins since it's become a very good Pokemon. And a PP up. Who needs the PP up? Who needs their PP up? Giggity. And, well, let's see. Togepi. Hera. You know what? Let's give it a Hera right here. Flamethrower. There we go. Give it an extra, an extra uh, stuff. Uh, let's toss this away. We don't really need it. And, well, there we go. Found ourselves a max potion. Definitely an item that we can use. And, like I was saying, guys, this place right here is a place where, you know, everybody talks about they dread and all that stuff in Generation 1. Uh, oh, wow, another PP up. Well, that would have worked out. Um... They dreaded. Hell, I even told you that my war stories about how I literally went through this whole place plenty of times without using the flash technique. Mainly because as kids, we don't believe in capturing different kinds of Pokemon. Just capturing our own team and then after that just, uh, <laughs> just uh, traveling with them and letting it all sort out. But then as you get, you know, as you get older and you started learning a little bit more of the strategy of the games, you, you start to realize that, you know, it's it's a lot easier to capture 10 different Pokemon and have a slave, a Pokey slave, I should say, than to go here in the, in the dark. Which, you know, it's funny. It's hilarious. Okay, so let's see. Where are we? There's the, there's the exit, but I know that there's an item right here. There it is. Okay, and we found ourselves an iron. And that's definitely something that we, we could use. And like I said, there are Pokemon here that you could actually find, regular Pokemon. And our Repel has worn off. Definitely don't want to battle those guys again. So let's go right ahead and continue on right here with this Max Repel right here. Not the Mystery Berry, but Max Repel. There we go. And let's see. I think we're close to the end. And look at that. We are close to the end. It has changed quite a bit. And here we are in Route 9, guys, now in Route 10. Wow, look at this. Route 9, Route 10, Route 9, Route 10, Route 9, Route 10, BAM! Here in America, we don't do that shit, sir! <laughs> Simpsons. Okay, so, let's see. 
Let's go ahead and talk to some people right here. When you go outside, you see the roof on the big building. That's a power plant. Okay. Yeah, there is a power plant close by, and the power plant's manager is looking for a strong trainer. He needs to get back. Getting back something that was stolen. Okay, so we're learning stuff right here. A Pokemon Center near the cave? That's mighty convenient. It is. Very, very convenient. So, we're going to be going straight to the Pokemon, or the power plant right here, before we even decide to just, like, you know, battle everybody again. So, if you guys remember, in Generation 1 as well, there are, there was a power plant, an abandoned power plant, and all of a sudden, three years later, things came to fruition. Bam! The power plant now has, you know, managers, it's been cleaned out. And if you talk to this guy, a thief broke into the power plant. What is the world coming to? No, well, you know, it's coming to that. And, well, we're going to be talking to the Pokemon, uh, or the, the director of this whole power plant. He's going to be right here next to his precious machine. And he's going to be like, I am ready to blast someone. Who would dare ruin my generator? I spent so much time on it. If I catch him, he's going to get a taste of my zap cannon. Giggity. Yeah, definitely something that you don't want to, you don't want to mess around. So after talking to the homeboy right there, we're gonna be walking by, and there's gonna be a phone call going on, and it's gonna be talking to this guy. He's like, I just, I just got word from Cerulean that appears that a shady character has been loitering around. And uh, you know, as a kid, especially now, I, I wouldn't know anything about this. Like, could I ask for your cooperation? That was probably him just saying, "Hey, uh, be the hero, be the friggin' hero." Okay, so. It is time to get to Cerulean City because, well, yeah, who doesn't like Cerulean City? And yes, the Pokemon that you can find here are pretty interesting too. Many of you guys already know that. I'm ready to, I'm ready to go on to the next walkthrough. Better yet, I'm ready to just do the next walkthrough, make it all up and everything. Now, I've, I've actually gotten a very, very good question when it comes to these redos and all that stuff. Very, very awesome, like, very, very good question, and that is, um, am I, am I going to make up every walkthrough that I've done so far? No. Just some walkthroughs that, you know, I'm a little fond of, walkthroughs that I actually like, you know, games that I like, rather than just, you know, the, the mandatory ones. One of the walkthroughs that I've been thinking of is maybe, maybe, just maybe doing Pokemon Let's Go Eevee again. Um, I've already done Let's Go Pikachu, but I kind of want to do it a little bit different with Let's Go Eevee. Who knows? We will find out. We shall find out. If you guys remember, I finished that walkthrough during the COVID season and stuff. It was pretty fun. And then I did it again with Let's Go Eevee on the unnarrated version. So, again, we're going to find out soon. For sure uh, for sure a thing, we're going to be doing... We're going to be doing a Heart, Gold, a Heart Gold again. We're going to be redoing that. That way... You know, you guys get everything linear and all that crud. Uh, Fire Red is a game that, you know, I've been I've been working on on uh, the backside here, too. That way you guys can have a narrated version of that. A much better version. Better side, line, side uh, views and all that stuff. And, uh, yes, I am battling everybody I can see because I am uh, the champion of this world right here. And, well, he, he's got some rock-type Pokemon right here. So let's continue on with the... The leveling up, and he's gonna continue on with that. So there we go, and bam, we have defeated him. Okay, so let's see, that's a Pokemon right there, and group. Yeah, we already defeated this guy right here. And again, make sure to have a Pokemon with. Uh... Seriously, Wilton, don't need to talk to you. Okay. Yeah. Um, make sure to have make sure to have a Pokemon with Kite if you're going through this side of the section right here because. You will be needing to a uh, Pokemon with Cut to get through this whole area, I think. Don't quote me on that. Probably. I don't know. Let's see. Let's find out. Yes, we do. So you're going to need a Pokemon with Cut. Thankfully, I have one. And let's go ahead and start battling. Surf Attack for the win. Primeape, a Pokemon that I haven't seen in quite some time. Let's go with... Oh, crap, Baskets. I wanted to go with uh, Togepi. So let's go with Togepi. Where are you? You magnificent Pokemon, you. There we go. Okay, so you gotta love the speed battling, guys, for those long places. And, well, there we go. We're gonna cut this to the side. And, well, look at that. We are now in Cerulean City. So, there is a Pokemon, a person, loitering around. If you talk to this guy, huge fan of the Cerulean's Misty. 
go in here. Bam! Somebody bumps into us. And the notorious song happens to kind of start up. Oops! I'm so sorry! You not hurt, okay? I'm very busy. No talk for talking or no no time for talking with you. Not good for me if seen by somebody. Uh-oh. Oh no. You see me already! I make big mistake! Hey you! Forget wait forget you see me, okay? You see here, you know nothing, you hear nothing, okay. Bye. Nothing, bye bye, go go. Okay, I can't even we can't even say it right, but <laughs> Yeah, old boy is uh going crazy. So here's what happens, guys. Down the middle right here, you will be able to find a machine part. He has hidden it right there, and that happens to be the machine part for the power plant. Now, if you step outside, talk to this individual, he's gonna be like, I saw this shady guy go off towards the Cerulean Cape. So, what we're gonna do right here, guys, is we're gonna finish this episode off by going to the Cerulean Cape and battling this one boy right here. So, let's go ahead and find him. Repel's worn off. Let's go ahead and find him. Look at this, Cerulean City. You gotta love it. And he's already seen us right here. He's gonna be like, Hey, kid! Me am a team member of, uh, or Team Rocket member kind of guy. Come from another country, a trainer number one me. Think I did? If stop the energy, be big panic for here every people. Secret is my mission to so tell you nigh not. But if you win, do you versus me, a man uh, be mine secret to tell I you. <laughs> hey kid, battle, let's go. Man, they really did a bad job with the dialogue right here. Holy crud. Okay, so we're taking on a rocket grunt. Obviously, he's got himself a gold bat. And, well, let's go right ahead. Icy wind attack right here. There you go. And just like that, look at you. Oh my god. There it is. That's how you do it. Okay, alrighty. And... Bam. Okay, alrighty. Okay, tell you mine. Secret will I... Machine part steal by me? Hide... I, or hide it? I did in the gym of the Cerulean. Inside water put I did. Look for in water center gym at. But you not forget me. Beat you for sure, will Team Rocket. Come from Johto, will they? Mine friends, yes. Will revenge they are. Yeah, I, I, I kind of... Kind of stopped him. I kind of stopped him, so yeah. Anywho, after he finds out that, yes, Team Rocket has been defeated, he's like, you say what? Team Rocket? Bye-bye, a go-go? Broken, it says you? Oh, no. Should I do what now on from me? And that is it right there. Bam. Okay, so... We got one more thing to do, guys. One more thing. Kind of like Uncle from Jackie Chan Adventures. We need to return that part. And I think... Yeah, let's see. No, you can't You can't fly towards there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward to the power plant. That way we can get things uh, situated and then, you know, Kanto can revive and all that stuff. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, so here we are back in the front of the power plant after, you know, defeating the wannabe Pokemon, uh, well, Team Rocket member. And we're going to be going straight right here to where the director is at. Once you talk to him, he's going to be like, Ah, yeah! That's the missing part from the from my beloved generator. You found it? <laughs> Thanks. Here, take this TM as a reward. And bam, we get ourselves the TM07 Zap Cannon. Well, it's Zap Cannon. It's a powerful technique. It's not what anyone would consider accurate, but it packs a wallop. Okay, so that right there is that. We have revived everything. There's quite a few things that are now working that we are going to be taking a look at later on after we defeat Misty and all her, you know, acolytes of, uh, of evil and all that stuff. So, in the next episode, guys, we're going to be going straight to the Pokemon, or we're going to be going into our 13th gym battle. But that is right before, that is right after, you know, we take on all these trainers in a speed battle and all that stuff. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being supportive and all that stuff. If you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, yes, the, the heart button right there, yeah, click it, you know, just in case you want to help out. 
And yeah, I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Crystal walkthrough. See you guys.